Hello friends, this is Dr. Sangeeta Zoshi from BIT Mumbai. Let us understand the concept of low cost technique in IC technology. Low cost stands for local oxidation of silicon and this technique is used for electrical isolation of CMOS devices which is which was developed to isolate MOS transistors from each other and limit the transistor crosstalk and that can be seen from this figure. Two NMOS transistors are isolated from each other with the help of this field oxide. In the isometric view also we can observe that this active region of the transistor is isolated from adjacent transistor with the help of this field oxide. Let us understand the process sequence. It is a microfabrication process and here the silicon dioxide is grown in these selected areas. At a first, at first a very thin silicon dioxide is grown on the silicon surface on the wafer this and it is called as the pad oxide. Pad oxide acts as a stress reliever. Then a layer of nitride is deposited as a nitrogen is a good diffusion barrier to oxygen. That means nitrogen did not doesn't allow the oxide to go in and therefore this active area is protected from thermal oxidation. Then the main process of the uh, a low cost that is the growth of thermal oxide and that is done here in the selected areas. After the oxidation process is finished the last step is the nitride removal. Now here you can see that this bird's beak which is this thermally grown oxide is actually encroaching into the active region area and that is called as the bird's beak. You can see the elaborative figure here and here the active region is earlier it was this much and because of the encroachment of this field oxide it is reduced. So therefore we can say that the bird's beak is the lateral extension of the field oxide into the active area of the device. Bird's beak it is, it is called as the bird's beak because it looks like the bird's beak. Here you can see the SiO2 and here the silicon nitride underneath of which this silica, uh, field oxide is encroached. This process is very simple process flow that is the main advantage and a high oxide quality is there because it is a thermally grown oxide. The, however, the major drawback is that the bird's peak effect because of which the active surface area is reduced and scalability is always an issue and therefore it is not commonly used in modern VLSI fabrication technology due to high density of devices. Thank you.